The poem A Red Red Rose is composed by Robert Burns, a famous Scottish poet. It is a lyrical ballad that shows the ideal love and romantic passion of the poet towards his beloved. With the help of the literary devices, the poet has sketched a very vivid and realistic picture of his profound love. The poem opens with the speaker comparing his beloved to a red rose which blooms in June and to the melody that is sweetly played in tune. He claims that his beloved is so beautiful that he loves her with a deep and strong passion. He will love her until the seas dry up, the rocks melt in the sun and he is alive. He bids farewell to her and promises to return to her, even if he is supposed to cover a distance of 10,000 miles. The poem has the themes of love and passion. It is basically concerned with the speaker's deep love for his beloved. He praises her beauty and expresses his inestimable love for her. His love will remain forever, no matter what happens. He bids goodbye to her before they separate and promises he will come to her even covering the distance of 10,000 miles. The poet employs several literary devices to show the beauty of his beloved and the power of his love. They are simile, symbolism, imagery, alliteration, and assonance. The first literary tool used in the poem is simile. It is an expression which describes one thing comparing it with another, using words as or like. The poem begins with two similes. They are used when the speaker compares his beloved with a red rose and sweet melody. Symbolism is another figure of speech used in the poem. The rose is a traditional symbol of love. In the poem, the rose symbolizes love between the speaker and his beloved. This symbolism dates back to ancient Greek literature, which associates the rose with Aphrodite, the Greek goddess of love. In the poem, imagery is created with simile and hyperbole. There is a visual picture of a red rose in our mind when the speaker compares his beloved with a red rose. When he equates her to the sweet melody, auditory imagery is used. Comparisons of both the rose and the melody shows his beloved lovely, sweet, new, and young. To convey the intensity of his affection, he then switches to hyperbolic images by expressing that he will love until the seas become dry and the rocks melt in the sun. We can view the world of dry seas and melted rocks in our mind. The poet makes use of alliteration and assonance to emphasize his powerful feelings of love for his beloved. Alliteration is found in the line Oh my love is like a red bread rose. It has the repetition of the consonant sounds la and ra. Assonance is a literary device in which the repetition of vowel sounds occurs in the same line. In the line and I will love thee still, my dear, the vowel soundy is repeated. Thanks for watching.